Rococo has recently released our very own face capture solution. This video will tell you all that you need to know about how to get your custom characters ready to take advantage of it. Rococo's face capture makes use of the ARKit facial performance capture, which is a feature found on iPhone X devices. The performance capture works by analyzing the user's face, tracking its movements, and triggering a special set of 52 corresponding blend shapes. Think of these blend shapes as the different movements of the face presented in the form of 52 different face shapes. These are then triggered in combination and blended together to produce a facial expression. First, make sure that your character is set up to take advantage of ARKit's facial performance capture. Second, you'll need any iPhone X series phone with a true depth camera. Lastly, you'll need our Rococo Studio software and access to face capture through our subscription plan. You can visit the link in the description for more information on this. First and foremost, it's important to set up your character properly in order to apply blend shapes or face rigs to it. The following are steps that you should take to ensure that your character's face is ready for blend shapes and face rigs. Ensure that your model has null values in its transformation channels. If there are values in its channels, then freeze them to zero out the values. A good clean topology is crucial in order to give correct deformations. Messy topology will create deformations when the face is being animated. It's also best to keep your polygons below 50,000. You also want to avoid non-manifold geometry and check for unmerged vertices. Make sure to keep the geometry unified. Lastly, don't cut the geometry into distinct zones, like separating the eyes or ears. You want it all to be a part of the same mesh. Make sure that the size of the internal mouth is not so big that it creates penetrations with the lips and cheeks. You also want to keep some space between the external skin and the internal mouth. And make sure that you have enough loops inside the mouth so that it can follow the lips movements. If your model has additional geometries like teeth, eyes, or eyelashes, you can combine them with the head mesh if you want, or you can leave them separate. It's up to your preference. Also, check your UVs to make sure that they are not overlapping. After ensuring that your character has been set up properly, your next step would be to create blend shapes for your character. Our friends over at Polywink have developed a solution to help you add blend shapes to your custom character. Polywink is an online platform created to automate the process of creating facial rigs and blend shapes. They are able to complete this task in a few hours and they offer services from blend shape generation to automatic facial rigging solutions. Check the link in the description for more information on their services. Once your character is set up with the proper blend shapes, it's time to make use of face capture. We have plenty of tutorials here on our YouTube page and on our website that show you how to utilize face capture data in various programs. Check out the description for our list of tutorials that are currently available. We will continue to add more tutorials, but if there's a video that isn't listed that you would like to see, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. We're looking forward to seeing your characters come to life with face capture. Thanks for watching.